If you've watched Fury Road recently, like I have, you'll remember that Furiosa has a very distinct knife made out of a femur that she keeps in her car that she uses more than once, but then, during the climax, is used against her to near-fatally stab her. It's the moment when crap officially hits the fan during the climax. Now, in the Furiosa prequel, we're seeing Furiosa as a young person, and what the trailers seem to have revealed is that she wasn't kidnapped by Immortan Joe, the villain of Fury Road. She was kidnapped by the character played by Chris Hemsworth, Dementis, and then it seems she grew up under him. And so it's kind of a villainous dynamic because he kidnapped her, but she also seems to have perhaps been mentored or worked in his army. And so there's probably a bit of mutual rapport there and maybe even respect or at least acknowledgement of his danger. And he seems to be evil, but he also seems to have, you know, a gregarious, friendly personality while still being evil. So my theory is this. In the climax of Furiosa, she's going to kill him, but he's going to say some crap about, oh, I'll get you one day. Even when I die, I'll come back and get you. And then she's like, I don't care. And she's going to kill him. Then she'll make the femur knife out of his bone as a way of both honoring him for his strength and the role he played in her life, but also as a way of disrespecting him, because screw him. But that way, when we go back and watch Fury Road, we'll see that knife, which is there in the beginning. It's throughout the whole film. we will be like, ah, there's Dementis. He was there the whole time. And he did get to come back and attack her one more time like he promised he would. But that's just my crazy spur-of-the-moment idea upon looking at the trailer. I think it's just a cool idea. We'll see.